is John Ward, welcoming you to another presentation of Tennessee football on home video. The story you're about to see unfold is one of adventure and achievement. It's the story of teamwork, commitment, and the will to win. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at Jordan Matthews, uh, four-star cornerback out of Woodlawn High School in Baton Rouge, 6'1", 184 pounds. Um, you know, he's going to be much needed for the secondary. Uh, you know, we need all the help we can get. Uh, but they did play well in the uh, in the Orange Bowl, so hopefully we've got us another guy for the future who can help us move forward. Let's go ahead and get into it. See him at the bottom. Uh, first thing I'm seeing here, okay, it's pretty decent. So one of the things to to look at, uh, one of the things that at least I'm going to highlight with him, is that he's he's tall. Um, He's long, he has long arms, and he moves well. He has good hips. Uh, so, you know, those things can translate very well to the next level. What I am kind of noticing is that there are some fundamental flaws. So, I, you know, I'm going to chalk that up to, to the coaching. It's not on him. Once he gets up to, to college, they can coach him how they want for him to play in their system. And that's going to make a really big difference. So instead of uh, maybe always just looking at his technique and form, we can kind of look at, the way that he moves and some of his uh, some of his other talents. So right here, okay. Um, you know he doesn't he turns at a good time, right? So I mean he's he's turning he's opening up his hips at a pretty decent time. Uh, the guy's about within two yards of him, so I mean that's that's a pretty good job. You you don't want to get beat deep, right? This is like this is straight man coverage. Um, this kid actually does end up running past him. Um, so again, I think it's coaching right now. He's looking at the, looking at the wide out. Let's see if his eyes go to the quarterback. I was kind of go to the middle. He gets beat to the inside on the post. Looked like he had outside leverage on that, but you know, he fights through and makes a good play on the football. Here he is right here. I'm, I'm going to pause it. His highlight film is, is pretty short. So I'm going to kind of pause it, uh, to kind of look at more of his body position and how he's getting in and out of breaks. That's. That's gonna mean that's gonna mean more in this film. So right here, it looks like we've got a shorter route. He's playing man. Does a good job staying on top and then making a break on the ball. Okay, I believe yep, that's him at the bottom. Okay, looks like this is a comeback route. Uh, does a good job breaking on the ball. He's got good form right here. Then the tackle. Brings a bigger guy all the way down to the ground. It's him to the left of the screen. Okay. That's that's pretty nice work right here. So uh, this is going to look really small. <laughs> it's going to look like a, a really small thing, but I'm going to tell you, whenever you're playing out on, on the edge, the small things make a big difference because it's people with a lot of speed. Okay, so what we see here is he has inside leverage. Um, so with inside leverage, what that basically means is you're protecting the inside. So what you don't want to see is him let this guy get to the inside of him, which I believe on this play the guy actually does. But so he has inside leverage. What I like to look at here is the way that he kind of stems. You'll see that the receiver is going to try to work and work to the inside, and you'll see him gradually. He'll take a step, like small steps over this way or a small step over that way. And that's just so that he keeps – that he stays exactly where he's lined up at on this guy. So like, let's just say – if he's going to line up with his helmet on this man's shoulder pad, he wants to maintain that leverage. So if the guy, the uh, you know, wide outs come out and they'll start off with like a little stutter step, maybe they'll try to juke in, or maybe they'll try to juke out. Usually with whatever side that the um, receiver starts at, they're going to finish to the opposite side. So guys will start here just to get you moving here so they can come inside or start inside so they can go outside. You can also tell by the by how little room there is on the sidelines here that he pretty much has to come to the inside. So I'm say, I said a, I said a whole lot of things, but I'm saying all that just to break down that these are very fixable things. They're very teachable. It's very cultural. 
that kind of stuff. When people break down film and say, oh, well, you know, he can't run routes or, uh, you know, he doesn't have good uh, form. None of that stuff really matters. You know what I'm saying? You can coach them to learn all, all of this stuff. So I literally, what I just said, if I told him that, he's capable of actually doing it. So he's going to make a good play on this, obviously, because these are highlights. But he would have gotten a pick. Okay, so this is where he stemming. He stems. He gets me to the inside, but he's able to use his long arms to make a play. He's playing in the slot right here again. That's that's a nice job. Looks like he has looks like he has really good feet. Uh, this is him blocking the kick. Uh, so you know we can use him on special teams. Does a good job coming off the edge. It's good to see. This is him at the bottom of the screen, number seven. Okay, slow playing it, slow playing it. Now, that right there, I, I like to see that. This is the kind of stuff that I like to see. I like to see physical players, period, um, but especially playing outside because usually people are not as physical out there. So uh, he's reading this play. He's watching for the pass, doing his job, recognizes that this kid's trying to block him. He throws him off with, one hand, uh, and he does it with, with an attitude and does it fast. Get off me. Quick, throws him to the side, steps right where, where he throws him from. So this is exactly how, how they coach it. Watch. He's going to throw him, and then he's going to step right to where he threw him from. That's textbook. Uh, step up, make a tackle, wraps him up. Nice play. Same playing a little press. Very physical. I like that. So like this is like in spring ball or something. Good job beating the block, coming up the field, making the tackle. I believe that's him at the top. He actually kind of gets lost on this play, but he's able to make up for it with his speed and with his length. Again, that's that's coaching points. It looks like he was playing man. And when you're playing man, you don't ever go look back at the quarterback. This is him on field goal block. Actually ends up making a big play. They tried to fake him. Okay. This is nice. Recognizes it's, it's a quick pass. Comes up fast. Keeps his outside contained. Wraps up, makes a good tackle. Right here, his receiver ran to the other side of the field. Looks like he may have switched to cover two. They run it back to his side. He stays at home, which is good. It means he's, uh, you know, he, he understands football. He understands what, what he's supposed to do. They're right there with like cover two. Good job coming up. So with cover two, it's going to be a little bit difficult to see from this angle, but Cover two, his responsibility as a cornerback is to cover this flat area. So you'll see that the first receiver is going to go deep. Second receiver is going to come short. He kind of splits the difference. He carries this receiver up the field about until he sees this guy come short. He stays right in the middle of those two in about this area. And as soon as he sees the quarterback throw the ball, then he breaks up. Um, when you're playing zone, you're watching the quarterback. You have to feel the, the people inside of yours. You have to feel where people are in your zone, and you have to be able to get to your spot, but you're watching the uh, quarterback. So the, the quarterbacks, how you know where to – it's how you know where to where to go, where to break on the ball. So that's that's very well played. He may end up being a, a corner that's a little bit better in maybe zone coverage, but you know, I, like I said, I think that once he gets on, once he gets on campus, and works with the coaching staff, uh, he should he'll be fine playing man. He's, he's a good enough athlete to be able to play man, and then see he's he's physical too. I mean, he's not scared of contact. So those are all good signs that he can be coached. This is inside leverage here. Slow playing it. Nice job. Nice job. I mean, he, he actually, as far as his um as far as his technique with the back pedal and was getting in and out of his brakes, it's that part of it's actually good. I think he just needs a little bit more fine tuning. Physical. 
stays with his man. That's that's a nice, that's a very nice job. Very nice job playing man there. So I know that that was a really short highlight film. Um, I couldn't really find much on him, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. If I do happen to find something later on, I'll definitely add to it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, he looks like he's a he's a tall corner. Uh, you know, he's he's long, rangy, fast guy. Uh, he's got quick hips. He's got really good feet. Um, he, he he plays physical. I think he's going to be great. And I mean, for sure, he would be a prototype like cover two squat corner. Um, but, you know, he's physical enough to be a, a really good press man corner too. So we'll see. Um, projecting him probably not to be a early starter, uh, you know, maybe. Um, I believe he's on campus, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and he, I mean, he, he looks pretty good in the, he looks pretty good in the, in the films that I saw of the, of the bowl practice and, and all that good stuff, but. Um, you know, it's it's really it's really hard to tell until the until they get thrown out into the fire, until you see them out um, actually having to tackle and you know in some real game situations. Most of them are going to look good going through those drills. Um, you know, I, I said this coming into this season, I thought that our secondary was going to be the strongest part of our team. They actually ended up being the being the weakest, but it was just because they all looked really good going through those drills. So. We'll see. I'm um, curious if uh, if Willie Moe is going to stick around. I haven't heard anything yet, but hate to say it, I, I think he probably needs to go. Um, yeah. So anyway, with all that being said, guys, got uh, I've got a few more guys that will be dropping today. So be on the, be on the lookout for that. Make sure to like um, and make sure to follow the the channel so that you can get all all the latest updates. Thanks. Peace.